Today, I did something pretty cool. I made a keto Japanese strawberry sandwich. It doesn't even sound real, but it's beautiful, it's delicious, it tastes just like the real thing. Like always, my recipes are on point, come on now, you know me by now. All right guys, here are the macros, and here's how you make it. The ingredients you'll need are almond flour, Swerve confectioner, baking powder, butter, strawberry extract, real strawberries, Swerve's granular sugar, eggs, heavy whipping cream, but most importantly, check out my new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Aren't they beautiful? There's my homie Exodia, and my high school girlfriend, the Dark Magician Girl. We'll start off making the bread. First, melt 28 grams of butter in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. You don't want your butter too hot since we're going to mix an egg in it. Add 2 tablespoons of almond flour. Add 1 tablespoon of Swerve confectioner. Add 1 half teaspoon of baking powder. Drop in 1 fourth teaspoon of strawberry extract. and crack in one large egg. You can use chopsticks or a fork to mix all of the ingredients. Mix well until your consistency looks like this. Grab a sandwich container or Tupperware that is microwave safe. You won't be needing the lid. Coat your container with non-stick spray. Make sure your container is evenly coated. Don't forget the sides as well. Now pour your mixture into the container and make sure it is equally spreaded to get that nice looking bread. Heat this in the microwave for 90 seconds. Your bread should come out fluffy and look like this. Repeat all of that to make a second slice. Now we'll work on our cream. Add 3 fourths cup of heavy whipping cream into a bowl. The cream has to be cold right out of the refrigerator to mix properly. Grab a mixer and mix your cream at high speed. Gradually add 2 teaspoons of Swerve's granular sugar and keep mixing. Check often on your cream's consistency. You'll know it's ready when the consistency is thick and produces stiff peaks like this. Don't go overboard though, or your cream will be too thick and butter-like. Spread a piece of plastic wrap on your surface. Place your bread on the sheet. Spread your cream on the bread. This recipe makes a ton of cream, so you can actually make more than one sandwich. I like my sandwich jumbo size though, so I use the whole bowl, starting with half on one slice. Place your strawberries on the sandwich. I like to line the big, equal sized strawberries diagonally, so the sandwich looks prettier when you cut it. Place smaller or cut up strawberries to fill the surface area over the cream. 
Add the rest of your cream on top and fill in all the spaces. Place your second piece of bread on top and gently add pressure to seal the cream and strawberries. Tightly wrap your sandwich with the plastic wrap. Let your sandwich rest in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Slowly and carefully cut your sandwich diagonally. Use small strokes to prevent your sandwich from breaking. All right, it's the long awaited part of my day. The taste test. All right guys, here I go. Legit. This is so legit. All right, guys. The strawberry and cream, spot on. It doesn't taste any different from the real, you know, strawberry sandwich. But the breading, it's sweet. It's delicious. It's a little on the eggy side, but the strawberry extract in the recipe kind of masks it. The bread is more sweet and. What can I say? It's tasty as heck. All right, I'm gonna go for another bite. Mm. Oh, snap. <clears throat> I know, I'm sorry. I'm kind of eating like a third grader, but it's that good. <laughs> oh, is this fourth grade level right now? I'm so glad I made more of these. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Ooh, Brian, have some respect. So my final thoughts, you gotta try this out. You have to try this recipe. It's easy, it's short, most of it's in the microwave. I mean, it's hard to beat this. It's a pretty decent post-workout meal, to be honest. Thanks everyone for watching my video today. If you enjoyed the video and tried the recipe for yourself, I wanna know how it goes for you in the comments down below. Oh, and also, follow me on Instagram if you like cool stuff. Until next time, guys.